remainder of the week while investigators process the crime scene and the community comes to grips with the tragedy. Now that shooting is highlighting the importance of school safety. Today a new package of bills were unveiled at the state capitol aimed at keeping kids safe. Our Matt Heckles live in Harrisburg with more on this. Matt? Yeah, well, these bills that were unveiled today don't really so much focus on building security as previous ones did. There's nothing in here about extra security guards or cameras. Instead, the focus this time around is on the students. On Wednesday, House Democrats introduced their Beyond Safe Schools package. More than a dozen bills aimed at school safety and crisis prevention, doing things like adding mental health and wellness classes and teaching students bullying prevention. I believe with the anti-bullying curriculum in our schools, we can give our students the tools they need to fight back against bullying. Other bills require all attempted and committed suicide incidents on school property be reported and require pediatricians to screen students for potential depression. It is so important to identify kids who suffer from depression early and get them the help that they need. It, it is totally nonpartisan here. Democrats and Republicans can all come together for the benefit of our kids and our school districts across the state. Those two bills co-sponsored by Republican Representative Jason Ortitai. He's also introducing two of his own bills requiring school districts to create a threat assessment team and create a program providing violent intruder and active shooter training for school district employees. So it's time to be proactive. This is why I set forth on these two pieces of legislation and the other school safety pieces that are out there. It's important that we get this done and we get it done soon for the sake of our kids. Yeah, and the individual bills that are part of that better or safe school package uh, should be introduced officially in the House over the next few weeks. For now, live outside the state capitol in Harrisburg, I'm Matt Heckle, WTAJ News.